Hey there, Libra. Welcome to your reading for the week of May 16th. Uh, this week, you start off with the Four of Diamonds. Very good card, all about stability and more stability in your life coming in, being more stable, allowing more stability and um, building a foundation. I, I would say that's really what this card is all about. It's about like building a foundation and making sure everything you're doing is stable on all sides and, and making sure that you're stable and things like that. It's also can be a card of inheritance and things, but it, it's also like a card of patience and being patient. It does say that things are improving in your life, but you need to be patient. They are maybe possibly going to uh, take some time. It's also a really great time with this card to look at your finances, uh, to look at how you can increase your finances, better your finances. Sometimes when we get a four of diamonds, um, we could make a decision like maybe you have like a loan that you could almost pay off and Maybe it would be a little bit of a stretch for you this week to pay it off, but it's kind of like one of those things where if you do it, it gets it out of your life, and then you don't have to deal with it anymore. So a lot of you could be making that tough decision to take like a large chunk of money maybe that you've been saving or something to pay something else off. But again, it allows you to move forward. It clears up the energy. You don't have to deal with it anymore. So uh, it, it's kind of like a really nice card for that. Next, you have the six of spades. Again, incremental improvements kind of reinforce. You have two sixes here, both of them kind of reinforcing the patience, being patient, allowing things to happen in their own time. But this is also a card of fate. So you could have like a lot of faded events. Like this is where you could meet um, faded meetings, like meeting people uh, randomly that you fall in love with or meeting p or having the right person at the right time come in and help you with your business and all sorts of things come up with the six of spades there. Um, you know, I usually call this card the train because it's kind of like a train. It's like, you know, a train takes off at a train station super slow, right? It takes its time. But then when it builds momentum, it's almost impossible to stop a train. So that's what this card represents. It represents like building momentum in your life, getting things going, getting things moving forward, and kind of like getting things that you, uh, you know, want, but having them happen in their own time. Next, you have the Joker card. Uh, so you're definitely going to be working really hard this week. The Joker's all about working really hard and getting things done and uh, doing what you need to do to work to, to make things happen. Um, but it's also about doing a bunch of things and being balanced. Uh, Joker could have two jobs and a business and still be able to have enough time for their family. So it's all about balancing like all of those things out. It's also about balancing your health out as well. Um, so, you know, if you're finding yourself saying that you're too busy for your health, you're too busy to go to the gym or you're too busy to eat properly or whatever, then you need to kind of like make some other decisions, reassess what you're doing, because really you're never too busy for your health. You should never sacrifice your health, especially now we're entering into like these, like we're going to be entering into Leo here in the next few months. We're going to have all these other Leo things happening. I mean, we should really be looking at our health and at how we can prove them. There's really no excuse. You should be putting your health first over everything else because if you're not healthy then how can you do anything else in the first place right and the joker definitely prioritizes health so do that and it was a message that came in very strongly as well so just prioritize the health this week next you have the six of diamonds planting a lot of seeds being very responsible actually this week you can find yourself again it kind of furthers that message of like paying a loan off or something and i guess that's why i said it because like because of this card here which is all about being financially responsible making some better financial decisions um budgeting saving money but this is also you making good decisions for the future so like a lot of you could be investing looking at investments it could also be um help like you could be receiving some sort of help to pay off a loan or something like that or to pay you know pay off maybe a car debt or something along those lines so this is a very good card but again it is a card of patience and being patient. Uh, next, you have the Four of Hearts. Four of Hearts is a very good card as well. Um, all about commitments and making commitments and things like that. But it's also a very good love card. So those of you, it's mostly going to be true for those of you in love, um, but already that love could go very well this week. For the rest of you, this can actually represent new jobs, new businesses, travel, thinking about traveling, and planning a move as well this week. So it looks like a very exciting week. And definitely, I will say also, there's definitely a lot of moving energy, two fours. Um, some of you could be thinking about moving, planning a move. Again, I wouldn't say that you're actually doing it this week. Some of you might, but not all of you. Um, but a lot of you could be planning it planning on selling your home, uh, thinking about selling your home, all sorts of things. So thank you for watching and enjoy your week.